guys, welcome to Carolina's Crafts. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys how to use um, my digital planner on a device that's non iOS. Hold on, how do I put this thing on? This is not even mine, guys, so bear with me for a second here as I'm just trying to show you guys and get through this video of like showing you how to use the digital planner on here. Oh my gosh, you could see like my reflection. This is not fantastic at all. Why? 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 Like, <laughs> my face is in the screen. Okay, guys, let's try to not focus on that. I will even try to move over to the side. I need my brightness up. How do I turn my brightness up on this thing? I need a phone, a friend. How do I turn the brightness up? <laughs> Alright guys, we are back. I'm going to show you guys quickly how to um, work with your planner or the digital planner. I don't know if this works for all planners specifically, but I know it works for my planner. And I know the app Metamoji is available for this Microsoft Surface Pro. It's also available for um, Android devices and I also believe Samsung. There's an app called Metamoji. Now I normally use my iPad with GoodNotes but I wanted to show you guys some other options because I know not everyone has an iPad. So anyway, you're going to download the app Metamoji. I will show you guys. You guys can use the light version but there is a paid version which allows you to do something else so I will go over that as well. Let me just open up um, the app Metamoji and show you guys the planner. All right, so this is what the digital planner will look like in the app Metamoji. So on the side, this is like basically what it looks like. You have the first page, you have the second page. It changed like the font a little bit on Metamoji, but that's not a big deal. Nobody's really looking at this page anyway. You have your next page, which is the index. You then have, oh my gosh, I suck at swiping. You have this page, which is leaving behind and looking forward to. You have a dot grid page. I should just click this button down here. You have a lined page, and then you also have a blank page, just like so. Then you get into your months. Now this is January. The features up here, you have the same feature as like writing. You could like, you know, change the thickness of your line. Um, I don't really know how to change the color. Oh, right here. So before you start writing, that just popped up. So let's say I want to write in pink. I could write in pink just like that. Um, you know, here you go. I could just like write stuff, blah, blah, blah. I could also use the erase tool where here it just allows me to erase things, but you literally have to erase the whole entire thing. So let's not scribble on my planner again because... I have to retrace my lines to erase them. So that's the erase tool. Um, you could change the thickness of your erase tool. There's a thinner line, a uh, thicker, thicker, and then there's also the one that you that allows you to clear the page, which is the last one. So if you have any writing or any images that you put in, you could also clear the page. I'm just gonna click no, even though there's nothing on here. So there's that as well. You have the lasso tool. So let let me show you. I wrote something in here, but oops, I wrote that in the wrong day. I could click on the lasso tool and just circle that and now I can move it elsewhere into another box and just like that. I could also just lasso it, um, highlight it and then remove it if I don't want it anymore and it just deletes all of that as well. You also have a text box, so I could put in a text box. So I click on the text box and now I could just type some stuff or I guess I could write actually and it converts it to text for me. So let me, oops, going back to that, let me write mom. And it converts it to text for me. So I could then click enter and put that in and now I have like my text box here. I could also change the size. Let's say I want bigger text. I'm gonna write mom again. And now it just makes it bigger inside my text box. So I can move this around and do whatever. You could also just also type if you click on the text box, you could type in some stuff as well, just like that. Now let me just delete this, but I don't know how to do that. So now let's say I wanna get rid of that text box. I'm just gonna, you know, you swipe down to get your little thing back. You're gonna do the lasso tool and you're just gonna lasso that text box. Okay, I'm gonna last. Ah! <laughs> Hold on, lasso tool and remove. 
And I think I had another one here somewhere. Remove. I just I made a whole bunch of text boxes. Okay, so that's that um, text box tool. Now the one thing that you can't do in um, Metamoji is use hyperlinked tabs. Now with the paid version, there's like a kind of like an option, but it's not really like hyperlinked. But when you click on this thing page thing down here, it shows you all the pages that you have in this digital planner. So you could just scroll through here and like, oh, be like, oh, this is, must be February, March, whatever. And you could click on your pages like that. But what else you, what else you could do is let's say I'm going to go to March, for example. So here's March. I could click on this page again when you have the paid version. This doesn't work with the light version. So there's like these two little pages. It says page 18 out of 78 page. And then there's like these two little pages in a circle. I'm going to click on that. Now it says like jump, which allows me to like kind of navigate the jump pages. It's kind of like a bookmark on the jump pages. So I'm going to click add. And I'm just going to highlight everything or like the biggest amount that I can. It comes like with a blue box. A blue box pops up. You can't change like the ratio of it or maybe there's a way to do that. I just don't know how because it changes the top and the bottom for me. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Then down here I'm going to click register to make sure it creates that jump. And now I have a third page here. So you can kind of go by months. It says one, two, three tells you this is page 18, this was page 13, that was page 8, but it also has the 1, 2, 3 because you know that January is the first month, February is 2, March is 3. So now I can click through these pages and kind of just be taken to um, my months, you know, kind of like a tab per se. Now you can't exactly click on these tabs here, it doesn't let you do that in Metamoji, but I mean if you're trying to just create something that still works for you on another app that's not good notes because good notes is not available for other devices then you could also just create like this jump thing so let me do another one and show you guys i'm going to go back to my pages i'm going to scroll to april now so now we have april here i'm going to click on this page thing again and now it says jump i'm going to click add and then i got the blue box again and i'm just going to make it the size that i can then i'm going to click register and now I'll also have April added as the fourth month. So I have April, here I have March, then I have February, and I also have January as well. All right, just like that, guys. So let me go back to my pages. I wanna show you guys how to add pages. So after every single month in my planner, you get this next page, which is your January goals and your birthdays and events, but it goes like according to month. Then you also get a dot grid page, you get a lined page, and then you also get a blank page. So let's say I want to add another blank page into my planner. I'm going to click here. I'm going to hold down this page and I'm going to click copy. And then I'm just going to hold down again and click paste. So it just added another page in between here on the side. So now I have two blank pages aligned and a dot grid. If I want to add in like my own inserts, you could email them to yourself, save them to a folder onto here or to your camera roll, whatever it is on other devices like Android and whatever. I don't know where you could save stuff to, but here I saved it to my desktop on the surface. So I could click add now if I want to add in some inserts. I'm going to click add photo. I'm going to do add from photo slash album. And then I'm just going to go to my desktop here because I already saved a couple of things there. I have them unnamed, so, but I mean, obviously if you're saving it to a desktop, you could just name it. Um, you could do either high quality or normal. I'm just going to do normal just for the video. And then this little box appears, which is my image. I'm just going to resize it to fit my planner and to fit my page. And then I'll just tap elsewhere when I want to set that there. This is my habit tracker, by the way. Then I'm going to click another add photo, add from photo album. And then I'm going to click on that second page and open that also in normal. I have this little thing here that I can move around. It comes up like, you know, like an image box. And I'm just going to resize that. I 
I think the hardest part with resizing things is trying to get them match up to be the same size on both sides because I like the bottoms to like match up and everything so I think that is the hardest part. All right, that's good enough. So now I have like my habit tracker on the two pages. I could also zoom in, you know, color stuff around. Let me get back my little toolbox up here. I'm gonna change the color of this to, um, you know, let me keep it pink actually. I'm gonna label this. What did I do? I created a thing. Now, what I noticed is also no highlighting tool here. It's just like writing. Um, GoodNotes also has like a highlight tool. So I would just do this in colors. Let's say this is my um, hair gummies. I'm gonna write hair gummies. It also kind of just reads my palms, not as good as the iPad. But let's say I wrote hair gummy, and then I could color in this box as I complete it that day. So this is for a second, the third, and so on. Does that make sense, guys? So you could also add pages, add your inserts that you also purchased, that you may purchase from my shop or another shop. Um, this one in particular is from my shop, just the habit tracker. So I guess the downsides to this is that there's no highlighting tool if you wanted to highlight things and there's really no hyperlinked tabs, but in the beginning you could just set up your pages so I could go back here and now I could go to February, for example, and look, now I have February and I could just, you know, continue to then, oops. And you know, I could just continue by swiping to my next pages as well. This touch screen on this thing is very different than my iPad, so it's a little complicated. But I hope this video helped you guys a little bit. Um, the app Metamoji does work. Um, other people have also told me that app Zodo, X-O-D-O, also works, but that one does not have a lasso tool like here. So you can't like highlight the whole entire thing and like move it around. I mean, I'm sure there's ways that you could still move things around, I just don't know how. Um, but that one does have hyperlinked tabs, so there's a two apps, Zoto, XODO, and then Metamoji that works with other devices, and I know it works with my planner, um, because people have told me and I just showed you on Metamoji as well. I hope this helped you guys. I will have any links down below that you guys may need to the planner and to the inserts or whatever. I have tons of different inserts so you guys could customize your planner. You guys saw that you could add pages, remove pages, so you could truly customize your planner to fit your needs and add any pages with other inserts that you guys may want. Something that works for you and that's the one of the things that I love most about digital planning is that it's like fully customizable. Now this app is a little limited because it doesn't have the hyperlink tabs but I showed you guys a way to kind of get around that so I think this definitely could work for you guys I think the other app might also work for you guys so I would just recommend giving it a try um, now this version is paid because you if you want that jump feature if you don't want the jump feature you can just get the Metamoji uh, light version and then it doesn't have the jump feature but then you kind of just have to either scroll through the pages or you click on this and then just scroll through here and then click onto your next page or whatever it is um, so you could do it that way or you know just scroll through your pages like this. I'm not even a really good scroller on this <laughs> on this thing. Ah, I like I would rather just click the buttons down here. Here's my next page. Here we go. <laughs> and just kind of flip through the pages like that. Um, but I hope this helps you guys in determining if you guys want to get the digital planner for um, your device that you may have. These are just some other options. I don't normally use this on a daily basis. Like I said, I use my iPad, but I wanted to show you guys some other options where you guys can still use a digital planner because I truly love my digital planner so much and it has like just changed so many things for me and has made me so much more productive. And if that could do that for you guys as well, then that would make me so happy. So I thought I'd give you guys this option. Let me know um, if this helps. If you guys want to see any other videos, just comment down below what else you guys would like to see. But I think this pretty much covers it for this app. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.